What's up everybody? We're back today. We're doing another movie trailer reaction. This movie's coming September 29th. 29th. And it is Mark Felt, the man who brought down the White House, which is about, you, you saw it, what was it about? Um, it's about a man named Mark Felt who apparently uh, worked in the White House and he leaked information about the Watergate scandal and all that to the press and eventually brought all of that to light. So he brought down the White House. He brought it down. And exposed everyone. Straight down. So we're about to watch it right now. We're going to jump into it. Yeah, Liam Neeson plays Mark Felt. Yep. Who doesn't love Liam ne Neeson? <laughs> I don't even know who He's that guy is. Best. But it sounds like an awesome name. And it is produced by Tom Hanks. And, okay, that's, America's that's Sweetheart. It. America's Sweetheart. Tom <laughs> Hanks. Tom Hanks. Here we go. We're jumping into it right now. PG-13. Whenever the FBI hears a piece of gossip or information such as, I saw so-and-so out with another woman, not his wife, we're supposed to write everything down in memos. All your secrets are safe with us. How long have you been in the FBI? 30 years. I like That's Liam a lot Nelson of information. Yeah. Silver Fox. Sony pictures. the guardian of the American dream. Mark Felt. Fidelity, integrity, bravery. Ladies and gentlemen, the G-Man's G-Man. This guy just looks sketchy already. No, he's a big like, guy. I wouldn't believe him. I wouldn't believe him. He ain't keeping it to good. Five men were caught early this morning in the Washington headquarters of the Democratic National Committee. Uh -oh. Here's what we know. The men who broke into the Watergate are not the end of this thing, but the beginning. So he's White an investigator, I guess. Without permission. What? We put the investigation. Oh, Josh Lucas is in it. Today. Love him. The director of the FBI ordered the FBI to stop its own investigation. The nation tonight is in the midst of what may be wow. the most. Can you imagine being part of this when this is actually going down? In its history. The White House has no authority over the we FBI. We talk about politics well, we today. Look at this all. back then. This is like the 1970s. That must be terrifying. It was so much harder. Yeah, 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 Exposed. No Nowadays, everything's on social media. Our president tweets every day. Not even the FBI. <laughs> so it's a true story. We'll bring down the whole House of Cards. Washington. He just said House of Cards. Do you think that's a Netflix files. series? The White House has it. From? And now you have it. FBI agents have established Watergate incident as political sabotage. The White House is gonna sanitize the entire town. How hot there he is it? How hot is this guy? Like what about the president? Is the president lying? Is the president They're all lying? Wow. There's a nickname for you at the paper. Deep throat. Deep throat? It's mm -hmm. a really bad nickname. <laughs> like that's a horrible nickname. <laughs> that was intense. That was. That is so intense. It seems like you would need kind of a lot of, not a lot, but I feel like you would need a lot of the background information about that. Because that was kind of hard for me to follow what was going on. Yeah, I agree. You probably have to have, it's like, it's like war movies. To be able to truly appreciate yeah. like all the work that went into a war movie, you have to have a pretty good understanding of the background mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. But I'll say that like, I will, if, if it's done right and the research is behind it and everything's factual mm -hmm. to the best that they can do. It looks like it'll be really good. Yeah. And movies like this, like, you never know if it really happened that way. True. Or not. So it's always kind of a, like, it might be good for entertainment and good for the movie storyline. Yep. But it might not have actually happened like that. Yeah. I mean, they. that's like why everybody hates movies that are based about books. Because books can go into so much more depth. I mean, we only have an hour and a half, 90 minutes to fit in a huge, huge event in the United States. Like, mm -hmm. they're going to keep parts out. They're going to change parts to make it better for the story. Mm -hmm. You know, real life is never as cool as movies. Yeah. But I feel like that was a very scandalous event. Yeah, but House of Cards, do you think that's where they came up with the Netflix series, House of Cards? I haven't seen House they of Cards. They dropped the line. So it's about Washington, D.C. House of Cards is about Washington, D.C. She has not seen it. We're going to watch it because it's such a good series i've only seen like the first two series or the first two episodes of it but so far i love those and we're gonna watch that as well at some point yeah but overall 
Would you watch it? Would you go and see it? Um, there are some good names in it that I, you know, just like. Liam Neeson, Diane Lane, Josh Lucas. So, um, I mean, I would probably go see it, not just from the trailer, but just because the names are in there, and I just know they're good. Um, but I mean, the I'll say this, it looks suspenseful, but the trailer did not wrap me into it, like, oh my gosh, on September 29th, I have to go see this. That's how, that's how I usually decipher, like, am I going to see it on September 29th? No. Like, that's, that, that's my deciding factor. She's not going to see it on September 9th, and that's 29th. September 29th. It's like a month from today. Literally, I think, yeah. exactly. But, hey, guess what? I'm not either, and because I will wait for it to come out, and then I can watch it for free. But, I don't know, it looks good, though. It does. Good actors. But, uh, hey, as always, we appreciate you guys watching this far. Um, we're going to be doing more of these. If you guys see any trailers that you guys want us to do, put them in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Go to the video that's up here in the corner right now because we want you to watch more because it helps us. <laughs> we're selfish a little bit. But um, as always, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Leave nice comments. Leave nice comments. Leave love. Leave love. Kidding. Pass love. Do whatever line. you want. Pray for Houston. Adios, everybody. There's the, that. Have you seen that? The flooding's continuing. Yeah. It's really bad. That was a good one. That was good. Assassin's Creed coming off. <laughs>